Hey guys, welcome back to another Thrifty Thursday where we show you guys all the stuff we got from the bins and or other thrift stores. Yeah, so bins is probably the big thing. We love going to the bins here. And then, like, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but there's a local Goodwill here that we like mm -hmm. going to. Also, we usually, we usually always. We usually <laughs> always sometimes We don't. always come back with something. <laughs> yeah, we usually always sometimes don't come back with something so this is hauls from that kind of like throughout the week or, or weekend um if you see anything you like and it's for sale the links to the depop and mercari are in the description it should be there i made sure i put them in there so they're in there now sorry they weren't in the video the last time the i don't last, think so the last big video but also if the links don't work the you could sure yeah also, if the links don't work, you can search for the shop just by typing Lucky Rabbit Pickers. That's the name of the Depop, the Depop store. On um, Mercari, it's called Ivan's Junk. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so let's let's get into the haul. I think we'll let Monique go, for, go first oh, again. Okay, so now I'll show you guys what I got at the bins. Uh, I try to put it in order, so here it goes. Uh, I actually I even found this little um, Hello Kitty uh, plush. It's like legit Hello Kitty. Has a little tag there, and she's wearing like a little kimono. I want to say so. This will probably be up on Depop. I'm not sure if she's missing like a, her little bow or like a flower here, but um, I'll do some research and find that out later. Re research, research. Uh, I also found this little, littlest pet shop, little doggy here. He's really cute. I uh, found this little Barbie backpack. It's really cute. It has like a bunch of little um, stickers on there. And it has something inside. It looks like it was maybe like a travel pillow or something. I can't take it out. I don't know if it's meant to come out. But it's like a cat travel pillow. Can you guys see that? So I'm going to add that to like a bunch of other little Barbie and doll accessories. Um, yeah, so I'm going to add that to a lot and then like sell that together. Uh, I found this little, it's like a little camera bag. It says take a snap. Yeah, take a snap lens. I'm not sure if this is from, um, oh my gosh, what are those LOL dolls or whatever, but I just thought it was cute. And then I also found this little like tin suitcase. It has like little flowers and butterflies on it and like a bridge. And it's interesting, it like pops open. Maybe like stationery came in here. I don't know, but I thought it would be cool like for jewelry or I don't know, something small. Uh, I found this hummingbird that I plan on hanging outside, like in our little uh, backyard patio is really cute and has a lot of like little rainbow colors on there Next is this little Keychain here kind of looks like a Xbox controller It's really cool. Just threw that in my bag uh, I also found this Nora Jones CD. It's uh from her album called Come Away With Me. I'm pretty sure like a lot of people know that song is pretty popular or was pretty popular. And I like her music, it's pretty like chill. I'm just kind of like collecting CDs, I guess, for the nostalgia and to listen to them also. Um, found this, these wax melts and it's a sweet pea fragrance. It's like one of my favorite fragrances. Uh, it looks like this came from Joann's actually, so that'll be cool to use. Next are these uh, printable business cards. I was thinking of maybe like printing out some business cards for Depop and like putting them in the package with, with, with each order and like maybe putting like thank you on it or something. So it's like, it feels like it's pretty full. Next is this vintage made in Japan uh, faux pearl necklace. It's very granny core. I really like the ends on this. 
And it has like these other cool like little beads in there. I didn't want to leave it there. It's pretty cool. I normally don't find stuff like this at the bins that's in good shape. So that'll probably be up on Depop as well. Uh, next is this, I want to say it's like a hair tie, you know, like little, <laughs> I can't really like show it, but you know, like tie it in your hair, kind of like thing. And it has a bunch of little uh, cactus plants in there. I just thought it was really cute and it's like on a pink fabric. So that's what I'm going to advertise it as anyway, like a little hair tie, hair band thing situation. Uh, next is this bandana. It has a, a print of 21 Pilots. So that was a, um, well, I don't know if they're still together, but it's a band. And I actually found a another item from them. I'll show you in a bit. But it's like in brand new condition. So I grabbed it. I might lot it up with that other item I have. That's also 21 Pilots. Next is this other bandana. This is actually by Waterloo Sparkling Water, which is really funny because this is Ivan's uh, like favorite brand of sparkling water at the moment. And I thought it was cute too because it has like little strawberries on it and all kinds of different fruits. It's very like 90s cholo, you know, hang it in your, your back pocket on your jeans. But this is also like uh, brand new, so I grabbed that. Found this vintage 1998 South Park necktie and it's like legit. It's a little dirty so I might try to clean it but it's just on a black background and it has the characters right there. So this will also be up on Depop. Next is this super cute kawaii pastel bag. Uh, it's by SPK so I believe that's like Shopkins. And then it has like the little Shopkin characters here. It's really cute. So hopefully the camera focuses on that. And it just has like these rope uh, handles. It has a Velcro closure and it's just pink on the inside. thought it was really cute so I grabbed it. I'm going to jump in with uh, my little clothing haul right here. I actually found clothing at the bins. It's harder for me to find clothes at the bins uh just because i'm a bigger guy and it's just harder to find that clothes and when you do find it the shirt's all stretched out and all terrible looking uh, but i did find some shirts this time so pretty excited about that some are to sell and some are for me to keep i found this optimus prime 1984 t-shirt i think this was a target shirt or walmart shirt i'm not sure but i remember seeing it seeing it and liking it and it was my size, so I picked that shirt up. And uh, this shirt I found to sell. It's a Boeing FA-18 uh, fighter jet shirt. So you go as the graphic, and then it says Boeing on the sleeve right here. You see that? And it's a Boeing shirt. So that's going to be on my Mercari shop. Uh, just a plain gray shirt, my size. It's a nice thick shirt, so I picked that up. Uh, and then this one I was excited about. I found myself a DC Shoe Company shirt. So my size, so that is awesome. I'm excited about that shirt. Uh, let's see, I found a Vans shirt. This is a size large. This is going to go on my Mercari shop. Uh, cool graphic. I, I picked it up because at first because I thought it was my size. I put it on and it was super tight. I was like, this is not my size. And then um, I found this, uh, what's the band name here? Hans Gruber and the Die Hards. Die Hards? Yeah, I think this is like an alternative band. It's a cool graphic, so I picked it up. Monique will have that on her Depop shop. And... I found some pretty nice Dickies, my size, awesome, nothing wrong with them at all. I do love Dickies, uh, I love wearing Dickies, and so I'm excited to have found those, like perfectly my size, that was awesome. And then, I think this is the coolest shirt I have found, T 
to date, and it is this vintage 1991, 91, 94, 91 Chicago Bulls uh, World Champions shirt. So that is awesome. I'm surprised this was left. I'm surprised I was able to get this from the bins. It was it was crazy because the hot they, they it, it was like folded in on itself. So I think people were just tossing it around. But vintage single stitch. Um, oh, you can see that single stitch, 1991 T-shirt, and it is on a Screen Stars vintage T-shirt. That is awesome. That is probably my find of this haul here. I was excited about that, and that's going to be on Monique's uh, Depop store. Uh, before I get into the clothes, I wanted to show you guys these heels that I picked up. So these are my size. I'm probably going to keep them. They're like brand new. They don't have like any uh, wear and tear on the bottom. Um, and I bought something similar, but these are a little different. So and these fit better. I tried them on at the bins, so I'm excited to wear those. Next is this, uh, looks like a, like a PJ top. It's really cute, it has like a lemon and fl uh, floral pattern on it. And it looks like brand new. It looks like Goodwill was trying to sell it for $3.99. I couldn't find the bottoms. I'm guessing it probably came with like some cute little shorts. But I had to grab it. It's like in great condition. And I think somebody could pair it with like, just like neutral bottoms. If you just have like yellow shorts or green or you know, one of the colors in here. I don't. I think I'm going to sell it. I'm not really sure yet. Then I got this t-shirt. I thought it was funny. It says show me your taco. It has like that pop bar on there. With the lady with the phone. And this is from a popular restaurant out here. It's called Torchy's Tacos. So that's what the back of the shirt looks like. And this is in really good condition also. found this nightmare before christmas it's kind of like a t-shirt dress with long sleeves and it says creepy crew it has a lot of the main characters from nightmare before christmas um this is a size medium 810 and it has a little tag on the bottom there so yeah i just thought it was cute and i feel like um, nightmare before christmas has a big fan following Next is this t-shirt. I thought it was really cute. I'm not familiar with the brand. The brand is called, well, it's called Human, I guess, but the website is called lookhuman.com, and it says um, Creature of the Night and Sea. I thought it was interesting, and it's really soft, and it's practically, like, brand new. It's like a dark heather gray fabric. Next is this Lululemon workout top. It's like a fuchsia color. This is my grandma's favorite color, actually. And yeah, it just kind of looks like that in the back. And then we have the little Lululemon symbol there, little reflective silver dot. I'm not sure what size this is, but I want to say like a medium, possibly a large. It's missing a tag. And that's like a stretchy material. I found this uh, Whitney Houston t-shirt. Has a cool black and white graphic on there. This one is an extra small, but it looks pretty brand new. It's in good condition. So I didn't want to leave it there at the bins. Next is this Joy Division band t-shirt. There's the graphic. This is like a heather blue gray color. The fabric and then it's a medium. It's on a tool text tag. So it's like a tearaway tag. So there's that. That'll be up on Depop. Uh, this one I might keep. This is a uh, Sailor Moon t-shirt. And it has the two little cats on there. Luna, and I always forget the other guy's name. What's his name? Like Artemis or something? I can't remember. 
but the black and white cats from Sailor Moon and then it has like it lists all the other characters on there and this is like a gray shirt but it has like a marbling uh, pattern design on there this is a medium I got another band tee I wasn't familiar with this band I had to look them up but the t-shirt is crazy that's why I picked it up hopefully no one gets offended by this but here it is so it has a little girl on there you can kind of look at it it says some things that I'm not gonna say out loud because I don't want to get like demonetized or whatever that's what the back looks like so I thought somebody would be into this um, it's an extra large on a fruit of the loom tag so it's just it's a black t-shirt And then I got another band tee. Uh, this one is also a black t-shirt and it says Pierce Lavelle, San Diego. And it kind of has like a, a tie-dye swirl in the middle. This one is, can't really tell what size it is. Tool text tag. Extra large, I want to say. The tag is like all crumpled. Oops, I just ripped the tag. Great. It's like an extra large. Next is this Halloween brand t-shirt. So I believe those Halloween stores uh, sell these. Yeah, the Halloween brand uh, stores. I like the image on it. It's really cute. There's like a, a witch on a broom, bats, a ghost. All the Halloweeny things, plain back, and this one is a medium, eight to ten, and it's like brand new. So we've sold stuff like that before, like Halloween T-shirts. This one's really cute. This one is like a play on, um, you know how Chick Fil A always has all the signs with the cows, and they always are saying stuff like "eat more chicken" or whatever. Well, this one's like a play on this, on that, but it says. Uh, eat more cow and it's the rooster from Moana the little crazy rooster I forget his name but um, it's like a great heather gray t-shirt this one is a size large and the back is just plain I found this dress and it gives me like really like 90s vibes I don't know if you guys will be able to see it it's kind of like a skater style or like a fit and flare it has like some darts going on. It has some darting. Uh, this is a large. And the fabric is like interesting too. It's almost like a wannabe like suede. But not, not all the way there. So I thought it was cute so I grabbed it. It's like a dark uh, gray color. Got a little camisole from Victoria's Secret. And I like the print. It's just a bunch of little tigers and flowers on like a turquoise background. It has adjustable straps. And this one is a medium. So this is probably also like a sleepwear top, but I feel like you could get away with wearing it like out during the day. Because it doesn't really have like a, you know, like clouds or the moon on it or whatever, stars like the typical PJ patterns, you know what I'm talking about? So this t-shirt is a size medium. It's like a, a light lavender color, light purple. And it has a bunch of different little flowers on there. I thought it was really pretty. And it has butterflies. And this one is in really good condition too. It's very clean. That'll probably be up on Depop. This next one is a Carhartt shirt. I was really surprised to find this because I feel like all this stuff is popular right now. But maybe because it's like a women's active top. It's kind of showing up more fuchsia on camera. But like in person it's a little more purpley and magenta. Um, yeah, so this one is a size medium 8 to 10. That's what the back looks like. And then it does have another logo on the bottom right there. So this will be up on uh, Depop also. 
This one, I'm not sure if it's like vintage acceleration from Target, but it kind of gives me that Y2K vibe. Um, I used to wear like similar stuff uh, when I was younger. But it also gives me like hippie vibes. It's really cool. I like the the tie here and then the sleeves are really cool. They kind of like flare out and they're also open. So this one is a large. And this will most likely be up on Depop. It also has slits on the sides too. Got some more leggings for myself. These are just like from Walmart I believe. I thought they were interesting. It's like a rainbow snake skin pattern. I thought it was different, but I'll probably just wear it with like black t-shirt. The bottoms are cool though. Has like this detail on the bottom. I thought that was pretty cool. And they're very soft and comfy. And then another pair of leggings. These are by LuLaRoe. They're very soft and comfy. And they have like this type of pattern. I'm not sure what that's called. And I found another Halloween brand t-shirt. This one's cute. It's just a black cat with really cute like uh, glowing yellow eyes. Uh, and this one is a 2X. And this one's like practically brand new too because it still has like that, that print on tag or what is that? You know, you know what I'm talking about. I've been keeping an eye out on skate skating goodies like skateboarding goodies, skateboard decks. Um, don't forget to check out my other channel, uh, Gnarly Monster, link in the description, that's my other channel. And uh, I've been trying to get back into skateboarding and stuff, so I've been keeping an eye out for skateboarding stuff. And I found some skateboarding stuff this go around. First of all, I found these kids shoes right here. Obviously these aren't going to fit me, they're DC shoes. And they're in pretty nice condition, just got to clean them up. And uh, I'm going to put these on... Um, my Mercari store. They are for a kid size four. So that is cool. I was excited about that. And then I found some trucks here and these are longboard trucks and these are caliber trucks. So not bad at all. Found those. And then I found some wheels here. Four wheels. Uh, they're called these wheels. I think Powell puts these out. I think I think what's up Orphe? Orphe's uh, looking for money um, Yeah, so I found Wheels and I found trucks. So if I find a longboard at the thrift shop or at the bins I'll be ready to go that that's awesome. And then I found uh, a tech deck here alien workshop tech deck, no trucks, no wheels, but um, that, that was, I was excited about that. And then like at the back of the bins store, whatever you wanna call it, people like put all their throwbacks and things that they changed their mind on. I found this apron, it's really cute. It has a bunch of little um, Eiffel Towers and it says Paris all over it with this cute like black trim. And it's kind of like a um, light pink and yellow like checkerboard pattern has pockets and I didn't realize until I got home that it might have like somebody's initials right here you can't really tell because the patterns kind of busy but even still it's really cute and I think somebody will want this and then I have a couple more items left I found these Looney Tunes uh, little booty shorts I believe they're sleepwear and this one is a size yeah they are sleepwear it's a size double uh, XL I didn't see a matching top for it but I thought they were really cute they have an elastic waistband kind of like Joe Boxer style and I like all the characters on them so we'll see if these sell I have some other like uh, plus size PJ pants on Depop right now they haven't moved but a lot of people have giving them a thumbs up. So we'll see, you know, Looney Tunes is kind of popular. We'll see. And then, also with the throwbacks that people were throwing back, we found this, we believe it's vintage, it's a 
uh sorry i'm like out of breath it's a champion brand like sweatshirt it's gray camo it says made in usa i'll show you guys the tag that's what the tag looks like and it's really good quality it's like nice and thick and i don't see any flaws has a cute little pocket on the front so this will be up on depop also i believe it's a men's uh size medium and then the very last item I have to show you guys is this. We actually got this at a Savers. We stopped at After the Bins, believe it or not. So this was $1.99. This is um, it's just a little Ipsy bag, but I like some of their prints. It's cute because the little zipper pull is like a little black and green lipstick. And it just has um, like this pattern of a... It's like a vampire wearing black lipstick with a green tongue. And then it has the green um, zipper there. And it's just black on the inside. I just thought it was cute, you know, throw something in there for traveling or whatever. So I got that for two bucks. And I think that's everything. That's all the stuff I have to show you guys. I found some goodies for Orphe also. She loves playing with these bouncy balls. Uh, I'll just bounce them and she'll just go crazy trying to get them and she tosses them around She pushes them with her little paw and then just chases them. So it was awesome to find these bouncy balls for her uh, and uh, They're they're on the bigger side. So we do play with her. We we watch her play with them So we make sure that you know, it's, she can't swallow them or anything like that and um, Here are some miscellaneous goodies that I got Monique actually, we went to Savers and Monique found these drumsticks for me. Um, I didn't need drumsticks, but always happy to have drumsticks. I am looking to piece together a drum set if I can, or eventually be able to buy one. Um, I found a, a uh, baggie full of like pins, lapel pins, pin back buttons, whatever you want to call them. Some of these are cool. This is an Assassin's Creed. Uh, pin there. I think there's two. Oh no, Crimes of Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Uh, pin here. And what else? There's another cool one here. Oh, and then like a keychain, a Stranger Things keychain. Right here. So you'll be you able to see that. Probably things focus. There you go. Now you can see it. So just double sided. And let's see. These other ones are just like random little things like, um, you know, a three leaf clover and uh, some other little things like that. Oh yeah, and then this, this keychain here. Is this Fallout? I think it's a Fallout game. I don't know what the character's name is. I'm not familiar with the game, I'm just familiar with this character because I see it all over the place. I am putting together a uh, McDonald's, vintage McDonald's shelf in my little collection area. And I found this uh, nugget here and I was like excited because I was like, oh cool. But this is one of like the, the repops from 2019, but still cool, I'll put it in there. Uh, but it'd be fun, cool to find some of them vintage nuggets. Little, uh, Flathead screwdriver here. I was like, why not? You know, sometimes you need that stuff. And then I found these here, Thread Wallet. I saw this in the bin, this like key ring, like uh, what would you call it? I don't know. I saw this and I, saw, I was like, oh, this is cool. And it looks really well made and I thought it'd be cool for my keys. And then I found this piece here and I was like, what is this? This doesn't make sense. And I found like a floral print one and same thing here, and so what it turns out is that these are by a company named Thread Wallet, and these are elastic wallets. So these stretch pretty much. If you go to the beach or you're surfing or skating or whatever, you just toss in your your uh, money wad here or your your credit cards or your debit cards, and you're good to go. Uh, I seen that they are they do sell online like on eBay and stuff like that for a couple bucks. So I don't know, I might put them on Mercari, but I might just keep this because I thought this was key, cool for my keys. 
Um, that's why I picked it up. So, yeah, but never had never heard of Thread Wallet, and now that I looked it up, their uh, ads are all over my Instagram and Facebook. So I thought that was funny, and uh, that's that's it. That's all I have from this haul. So that's it for our hauls. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't forget to like, drop a comment, subscribe, check out the links, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.